today I'm going to show you how to make shoe pastry or pet a shoe. And so I have already um, mise en place the ingredients for you. And I'll leave the recipe below for you. So we're first going to go ahead and take the half of a cup of water to a half of a cup of either whole milk or 2%. And we're just going to add them both in. Sugar and the salt. So we have here the sugar, which is two teaspoons, to the salt, which is a quarter teaspoon. And we're just going to dump it in. Okay. Putting the heat up to about high. We want to have it kind of high because we want to make sure that it gets to uh, a rolling boil. Okay. And now in addition to that, we're going to go ahead. We also have the, the one stick of butter, which is eight tablespoons. Now, if you're using... Um, I would suggest if you're using um, a room temperature butter that you really don't need to go ahead and, you know, take it, um, cut it tablespoon, tablespoon by tablespoon. But you can go ahead and just add that in. And then from there, you just kind of want to, you know, move it around a little bit so that it can begin to incorporate and melt. So we have that here. Okay. So now we have that. In addition to that, we also have one cup of all-purpose flour, four eggs, and I lightly just started to beat those. And I also have the one egg, and that is going to be for later. That's going to be a part of the egg wash. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the flour in. Okay. Be careful not to burn yourself. Okay, so now you hear that it's boiling, that it's moving. Okay. So now's the time to go ahead and start moving it around. And this is the part where we start cooking the flour. Okay, so now this is the time where you really want to kind of like smash in with your rubber spatula in and really work the dough so that you don't, you get rid of all of those pieces that are in there of the flour. So that it really incorporates with the water. And what you're looking for, and you'll know that it's finished, and this is what I learned at, when I was working, when, I, when we made these. Um, you want to make sure, and you'll know that it's ready. When you see at the very bottom, it will have what kind of looks like oatmeal stuck to the bottom of the pan. So this is what you want. Okay, so I think that we're pretty much there now. I'm going to go ahead and pull it off of the heat. So we're going to go ahead now and we're going to um, begin adding the egg in. So just add in the head of shoe dough. Okay, now what we want to do, so now the key to this is that you don't, you don't want to put too much, um, we have hot here and we have cold. Now, of course, everyone wants you to use room temperature, but anyways, you want to go ahead and you want to slowly add in um, the egg, the cold in with the hot because you don't want it to be curled. Um, so I'm going to start by slowly adding in the egg. Putting the speed up will help get the steam out. take it off and we want to just uh, scrape the sides you want to make sure that everything is really nicely incorporated as you can see that it's starting to come together much better now and it's starting to become like one big ball of dough and that's really what you want you want it to look like that let's see now you can kind of see that it's smooth and it is going to be sticky it should be sticky okay and then from there you're going to want to take off your paddle attachment 
and get the excess off. Okay, so we're back and I got 12 out of this batch here. And so now I'm going to go ahead and that other egg that wasn't a part of the recipe, I'm going to go ahead and just lightly brush it with a little bit of the, um, egg wash. It's just yolk and a little bit of water. And then I'm going to pop them in the oven. Again, 400 degrees is what you want to have your oven preheated to. Um, and you're going to only have it in there for 20 minutes at 400. And then you're going to go ahead after that and reduce it without opening the oven down to 350 degrees for 10 minutes. And I would start with um, 10 minutes first. And if you need to add more time, you can do that. But you always want to start with the lowest um, amount. It said 10 to 12 minutes. But you want to make sure that they come out golden brown. We're going to go ahead and make um, the filling for the pet choux or the puff shells. And so um, the first part of that is um, getting the ingredients together. And so we first have, um, we first start off with a pack of gelatin. And um, so we want to take this to a quarter cup of uh, rum dark rum or water. I don't have the rum, so I'm going to use water. So we're going to, I have it on lower, low heat. Just for it to kind of do its thing and warm up a little bit. Okay. For the ingredients, we have um, a 16, this is actually a 15 ounce can of pumpkin. We have um, one cup of sugar already in the bowl. We have two egg yolks. We have the spices here. We have, um, a half teaspoon of allspice, which is in the center, the darker one. We have a teaspoon of cinnamon, which is here, and we have a half a teaspoon of ginger. So we have that. And then we have our heavy cream and our vanilla extract. We're going to go ahead now and start combining all of this in here and together. We're going to go ahead and add the gelatin into our pumpkin mixture. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and incorporate this one. The gelatin is what kind of holds it all together. My pumpkin mixture into my cream and combine all of it up. together. I'm just going to take one of them and you're going to want to use a knife or a serrated knife um, to go ahead and cut through just to slice it in half the puff pastry. Just kind of going all the way around. You'll find that when you open it up it's going to be hollow inside which is like what we want. And then we're just going to, I'm just going to take um, one scoop, one smaller scoop I should say. I'm not going to wait for it to set at this time. Um, they do suggest that you um, wait for the mousse to chill about four hours or overnight. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and take a little bit here. And then um, place it on top just like that. And I have a little bit of homemade caramel sauce which is just um, a lot of stick of butter, um, a cup of brown sugar, vanilla, and heavy cream. That I've already um, made here. So this is a homemade caramel, a really simple one. I'm just going to um, drizzle a little bit here. You can of course add as much as you like and then just another little sprinkle of some cinnamon. And that's it. Here is the finished product. We have a puff shell, pet a shoe, puff shell with pumpkin mousse, 
with homemade caramel sauce and cinnamon. And of course, you can add more, you know, whipped cream if you like or whatever you desire. <laughs>